Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael. Thank you so much for joining me. So we're on Lamai Beach, it is beautiful today and I'm taking you guys to the other end of the beach. It's a little bit low tide here but it's a gorgeous day. <laughs> I just went swimming and it was so nice. So today actually I want to talk about the raw food diet and I want to talk about giving yourself a little bit of space because I've been getting a lot of emails recently like I already got like three emails this week and we're only halfway through the week and three people already have asked me if it's alright if they can have a little bit of cooked food in their raw food diet you know or is it alright if they once in a while have some junk food one woman that likes to go out every weekend with her husband and have fish and chips and then another person wants to go out on on a date and have pizza and like you know everyone's freaking out they're like is this all right like am I doing something terrible to myself and my answer to anyone out there is that if the majority of the time you are eating healthy and you're taking care of yourself then have some fun go out and go to the pizza place go to the fish and chips bar go anywhere you want to go have fun with it because what matters most is what you're doing most of the time. You know, these little exceptions, whether it's once a week, once a month, once a year, or every other day that you're going out and, and maybe feasting on food that's not so great. As long as it's once in a while. Once in a while it's an occasion and it's not something you're doing at every meal. You know, even someone that's going from like, let's say like a fast food diet of like pure junk food. Okay, and if they were just to switch one meal out of their day into a healthy meal, like whether it's having smoothies for breakfast or including a salad once a day, already that's huge and that should be really, really celebrated and you should really be proud of yourself that like, you know, to be worrying about having one meal a week that's like not the best ever, it's not such a big deal as long as like majority of the time you're, you're taking care of yourself and and you're making healthier choices so I, I really you know I just want to remind you guys and I just really want to stress this it's just you know be gentle on yourself like you know it, it's there's no point in like trying to be so perfect if that means that you're gonna have to isolate yourself or you're not gonna be able to do the things that you love to do or spend time with people you want to spend time with that's like the biggest issue is that a lot of times you know what I've noticed is that when people contacting me asking me if, if it's alright if I give them permission to have that one junky meal always they're always telling me that this meal is about them going out with someone, whether it's their husband or wife or their boyfriend or their best friend or, you know, even a perfect stranger or coworker, whatever it is, that it's usually like an occasion. It's usually a time when they want to spend time with someone and, and enjoy the food with them. And so by all means do so. It's, it's another thing when someone's like every day, all they eat on their own is just junk food. Then then you got to sort that issue out. But to go out on occasion and have fun with people and have, you know, even have some fast food, it's not such a big thing as long as the next day get back on your healthy diet, healthy lifestyle choices, and most of all, back to your happiness. I stress happiness over everything, okay? And I'm going to be super strict with that. So that's my little tip for today. I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day. I am, I'm just so happy. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And here's Lamai Beach. It's beautiful today. Look at that water.